welcome to my strawberry swimming strokes routine. We're jumping in the middle of the mat to start and we're doing crawl stroke, okay? So you know the drill, chest up. We're gonna have great posture here. I'm using a seller size or rebounder. You can find the information on that at ijumpinstead.com. We also have Facebook groups, I Jump Instead, and we have a Trophy Body Diet Facebook group as well, okay? So we're just doing crawl stroke here as slowly as we would like, and we're doing mid bounces, okay? So middle of the rebounder bouncing. Now we're starting to feel it in our core, our arms, and our back. So we want to bring our core in nice and tight so we have an excellent support system. We're going to switch to backstroke in three, two, one. Here we go. Now we're going back. Keep your bouncing in the middle of the mat. Now relax your shoulders and just swim with me, okay? Just relax and swim and make sure that you're swimming with excellent form. You can jump as high as you want here, but as long as we're jumping in the middle of the mat, that's all that matters. Keep your head nice and high here. We don't want our head to start hanging down. We want our chin up. Shoulders are feeling it, arms are feeling it. Make sure that you have a strong core so that you have a strong support system. We're gonna switch to my version of the breaststroke next in three, two, one. So now we're just going back and forth. Back, forth, back, forth. Now you really can go as slow as you want. You don't have to go by bounces as long as you're holding your core in nice and tight and you're bouncing in the middle of the mat, okay? Now really open your chest and then open your upper back. Open your chest and open your upper back. Great job. Picture that beautiful water that you're swimming in at the perfect temperature on a beautiful day. Steady breathing. We want to always breathe into our body. Breathe into our muscles. Next, we're going to do butterfly in three, two, one. So butterfly is a little tricky. We have to kind of get into a rhythm here. So we're back and forth, back and forth. When we go back, we open up our chest and then we close our upper back. Close, open, close. This really works the back, so don't bounce too high if you have any back issues, okay? Now bring your breath into it. You can go at your own pace here. You don't have to go at my pace. You just do your swimming strokes, okay? And breathe deeply. Practice excellent form and visualize your trophy body in the beautiful water. We're gonna do a sprint next. We're sprinting across the pool or we're sprinting in the lake. Three, two, one. So here we go now. We're just doing a normal run pose and we're gonna run. You don't have to go super fast. If you wanna pick it up, you go as fast as you want. We're going for a whole minute here, okay? Sometimes you just gotta throw in a little sprint and then get right back to your strokes. So we're gonna go right back to crawl stroke next, okay? We're getting to the other side of the pool. We're getting to the other end of the lake. Great job, 25 more seconds. Have fun with this. Go at your own pace. Chest up. Now breathe into your body. Breathe into your muscles. 15 more seconds. Great job. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Now bounce on the outside of the mat. 
We're bouncing on the outside and we're gonna go back into crawl stroke. Catch your breath. So now the idea here is to get more reps, more reps in, okay? You can go as slow or as fast as you want with your strokes. Chest up, strong core. Practice your perfect form, your trophy body in the beautiful water. Feel it in your back, feel it in your chest, feel it in your arms, your abs, even your legs. Great job. 15 more seconds. Really make big circles here. Switching the backstroke in five, four, three, two, one. Take it back. I love to swim, and if you love to swim, practicing on the jumper will make us stronger in the pool or in the lake or in the ocean or in the river. Great job. Just relax. Swimming is about relaxing. So pull your core in, in nice and tight because it's also about good form. You wanna look beautiful in the water. You wanna look sexy in the water. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck, and swim. Reach, feel your whole core working. 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna go back to breaststroke, our version of breaststroke in three, two, one. Here we go, back and forth. So we're getting more reps in here because we're doing out of the rim, out of the outer part of the mat, jumping, more reps. Now really stretch out your chest and then stretch out your upper back. Perfect form here. Strong core. Use your breath. Beautiful. Sexy. Confident. Talented. Smart. Great job. Trophy status. 10 more seconds, we're going into butterfly. Three, two, one. Now watch your back here. When, you, when you're leaning back, it can really work your lower back. All right, so don't bounce too high, but we're getting more reps in, okay? So really lift up your chest here. Come up on your toes a little bit if that helps when you're reaching around the back of you. We're strengthening our back, okay? We want to be talented swimmers. We have to have strength. So we visualize getting stronger with every turn, with every stroke. We have confidence in ourselves that we can get the job done. And of course our stellar sizer takes us all the way. Seven more seconds. And then we're gonna finish it off with a sprint. Three, two, one. Let's run across that pool. Ah, let's swim across the pool. Let's swim across the lake. Let's swim across the ocean. Let's do it. Chest up. We're trying to beat our best friend here. We're gonna go faster than them. Chest up. It's all about form and breath. You got this. Relax your shoulders, have some fun. 30 more seconds. Good form here. Flex your biceps. Use your core. Great job. 15. 
Where were you visualizing yourself? Were you in a pool? Were you in the Bahamas? Were you in Hawaii? Were you in the ocean? Let me know in the comments below. I want some good ideas. Thanks so much for joining me. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you trophies. See you soon. Bye bye.